Hey guys, welcome back. Let's see what Tarot has to say today. Uh, I wonder what this is all about. We usually get some, some pretty crazy energy from this deck. Let's see what messages come forward today. So we have the seventh chakra. So this chakra as the crown chakra. It represents sort of your intuition, that spiritual side. Uh, we also have uh, rest and rejuvenate here. Rest and rejuvenate. So how did these uh, all fit in? Mm -hmm. So hostilities, deceit. I feel like somebody is healing from someone else's crazy bullshit. That is the distinct impression that I'm getting from these cards, guys. Uh, we also have the first chakra. The chakra can speak to the physical body. It can sometimes speak to money. We also have blossoming abundance. Blossoming abundance. And this is tied to rest and rejuvenate. This is tied to somebody's uh, healing process from whatever went on here. Hmm. See, somebody was juggling someone else. Someone was not being fair. Shit was out of balance. And I feel like somebody's finally getting their strength back. This is part of the healing. This is part of healing. It's like somebody somebody decided to fight back. Like they felt like they were getting like breadcrumbed. You know, you get like just a little bit of whatever, just enough to sort of I uh, keep you going, keep you in the relationship, I uh, keep you from leaving. Hmm. Not five of cups. And the king. So this king of cups. Uh, he can be somebody who is emotionally manipulative sometimes when he speaks to, to sort of the negative side of things. I do feel him tied to, uh, I feel him tied to the Five of Cups. I feel him tied to the Five of Cups. He's like, he's like dwelling. He's like dwelling on the past. He's dwelling on what happened. Five of Swords. It was some sort of a secret, though. It has to do with secrets. It has to do with dishonesty. It has to do with lies. Uh, somebody is, like, making their own wheel of fortune turn. Somebody is sort of setting the stage for themselves here. Uh, it does have to do with this. I said, like, this, this breadcrumbing. This breadcrumbing, this deceit. What is this all about? And this is the other side of things. Like somebody had to, this is what I was feeling in the strength card, guys. Like somebody took their power back. Somebody drew their line in the sand. Somebody said enough. Somebody said, like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be treated like a fool. Somebody took back their power and started a new beginning. Somebody's walked away from the deceit, from the hostilities. Somebody's healing. They're growing abundance. But there's still a lack of clarity. This lack of clarity is coming from the other side. Like, they still don't understand. I feel like somebody stood up for themselves. Somebody said, like, that's enough of your bullshit. That's enough of your lies. Like, I can't live like this. This is ridiculous. Like, they feel completely off balance all the time. Like, I don't know if this person was sort of, like, hot and cold, like, emotionally. And it just left the other person feeling like they were walking on eggshells all the time. It was like they had finally had enough of it. They had finally had enough. They're finally like, that's it. I'm moving on. I'm moving forward. I'm sort of, I'm cutting you out of my life. I feel like the other person still does not understand why they got left. There's, I don't know, there's something going on here. There's some kind of like a disconnect where like they just don't seem to get it. They don't understand oh, why this couldn't be, why this couldn't be a lasting partnership. Like they don't, they don't, you know, they don't understand how their behavior contributed to this. I'll pull a few more here because I want to see where this this is going. Tarot, please clarify. You have the Hierophant. See, this person like presents themselves to you. When they first meet somebody, they present themselves like they have these traditional values, like they are a good partner. They're somebody who's worth investing in. Uh, but But like they can't keep their emotions in check. I feel like that's a huge part of it too because... The King of Cups, Cups is about emotions, so I feel like it does have a lot to do with sort of uh, emotions all over the place. We do have the Lover's card there in reverse. 
I don't know if they were always flirting with people too. Maybe they made this other party feel like they were they were undesirable because they were always flirting with other people. Like they they just wear somebody's self esteem down too, and they don't they don't even see it. Like a, this person, whoever this was, who they did it to, confronted them, confronted them on their shit behavior, and then walked away. But they still don't get it. They still don't understand that they did something wrong. I feel like their view of themselves is completely skewed. That two of wands. As like romantic relationships don't work out for them. They like never work out for this person because this person does the same stupid shit every time. Like they wear people down. Uh, they're emotionally manipulative. I feel like, like I said, like they flirt. They flirt with other people all the time and it, people just get fucking sick of it. Nobody wants to live like that. We all want to be respected in a respected partnership. We, you know, we have those traditional values where, where we can rely on each other, where we can trust each other and respect each other. And nobody wants to deal with that shit. And it always causes fights. It always comes to some sort of an end and somebody walking away. And they've lost somebody who would have been like a steady Eddie kind of partner. Somebody who would have been in it for the long haul. I don't feel like it's the first time they've lost somebody like that. I feel like they've done this to, to probably two or three people who, who if they had gotten their shit together, that person would have stayed with them for a very long time. It could have been a lifelong connection. I don't feel like this was, this was the only potential lifelong connection that they've had. I feel like they've had a couple of good chances to get their shit together and have a good partner. But they just keep fucking doing the same thing. Like they have no no self-control or self-awareness about what they're doing. And the past is just going to keep repeating itself because they don't seem to learn their lessons. They're like, they're living in fucking la-la land. Like not able to recognize the reality around them. And how they hurt other people and sort of the burdens that they create. The emotional burdens they create to others. And I said like zero awareness on how dishonest their behavior seems. Like they don't even, they don't see it. That's what's fucking wild. Like they don't even see it as being dishonest. Like they see it as like, this is just normal. This is how everyone is. Well, no, it's fucking not. And that's why your relationships keep going to shit, buddy. But he doesn't seem to get it. It's like whoever this is, they don't seem to fucking get it. We're gonna pull a few more cards here. See, and this, like, this Ten of Cups in reverse is what they're going to get every time. The Ten of Cups is like this happily ever after. This is like settling down, having a happy home life, having abundance in the home life. This is something that they can't have because they can't see how their behavior affects other people. Like, they don't see the reality of the situation. They're completely not self-aware. And until that changes... This is the way it is forever going to turn out. So when it does happen, and when we do have this ending coming about, this is like the best thing that can happen for the other party, is to get away from this person. Because the other party will never have that deep, steady, eddy partnership connection that they desire. Not with this person. Because this person, this is how they're living their life at this point. Uh, they, they're not... They don't seem to be evolved enough or want to be evolved enough to, to look at things in a different light. And as time goes on, and, and I feel this very distinctly from that King of Wands that's in reverse, it's like their time is running out that they are ever going to find somebody like this again. Somebody who, who is willing to stick it out for the long haul, somebody who's, who's willing to make that deep connection. I feel like this person is getting older. They are getting distinctly older. This is this king of wands. He's usually someone who's who's very attractive, who has these leadership qualities. Uh, somebody He can be somebody who's driven by his passions, and I do feel like that is a part of it here as well. Somebody's like zero fucking lack of control, self-control and self-awareness, who's creating the situation for themselves. And as they get older and older, they're going to have... Uh, fewer and fewer chances of finding somebody who's going to stick it out for the long haul and they're going to get to the point where they are just alone they are by themselves and no one wants them and this is like this is the future that awaits them if they don't get their shit together i don't know if somebody's told them that or tried to tell them that if they did 
they don't want to hear it. They are stuck in this, this nine of swords. They're stuck in this, this sort of this little world that they've created for themselves that just winds up being a loop of the past, repeating itself sort of over and over and over again, because this person just will not recognize the reality around them. They won't recognize uh, how they affect other people. So whoever walked away, whoever walked away, who's doing this, this healing, uh, who's finding, they're going to be finding abundance in a new beginning because they, they recognize this person for what they were. That was the best thing that could have happened to them is that they stepped away from this situation because whoever this energy belongs to, this person, at this point in time, I feel in the cards, this person is not getting their shit together. This person does not understand uh, what the real world is all about, what a real relationship is all about. And like I said, they are living in their own reality that they have created for themselves. Holy cow. Uh, remember guys, these are general reads, so they may or may not resonate for you, or it sort of might be bits and pieces. Take what is meaningful to you. Feel free to leave the rest, guys. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Take care, everyone.